So today I'm in the Cardano Summit event in Tbilisi, in Georgia, um, and I'm participating as a panelist and also a presenter. And what I'm presenting on with my colleague Jeremy is all the features of Cardano and providing a little bit of education. Um, what we're trying to achieve here is to pass on some information but also open up discussion on what we've done in Georgia. So this is my second time in Georgia and the first time I got to meet a lot of wonderful people, understand a lot about the winemaking process and understand the culture and the food and get an appreciation for Georgia. And now coming back after signing the MOU with the National Wine Agency, I'm starting to understand more how Georgian people are learning about the utility of Cardano. We participated in uh, Cardano Summit in Tbilisi today. Uh, we had a panel wine talks and we introduced the uh, Bolnisi appellation as a trial project for implementation of uh, blockchain technology. And I think it was a very useful meeting to uh, exchange ideas and how useful Cardano blockchain technology would be for uh, implementing uh, the awareness of uh, Bolnisi as a wine region and in all awareness of Georgian wine as a whole. So today marks a celebration for the Cardano ecosystem, showcasing our growth and the projects that are occurring on the blockchain from around the world. And I'm here in Georgia to not only discuss the pilot program with the National Wine Agency and the Bonisi Winemakers Association, but also have deeper connections with the blockchain ecosystem here, both in Cardano and in general. What's really interesting on this trip back is actually to, to meet other projects building in the Cardano ecosystem that I wasn't aware of. And people that are launching on the Pioneer program, when that started last year, for NFT projects, and also just general developers that are on Cardano that I didn't know about. So I'm joining Cardano Summit as the Chief Innovation Officer of the Crossroads, but on top of that, I'm also representing the Women in Tech as the Ambassador for Georgia. We are a network of 200,000 uh, professionals from the tech industry around the world. And we are exceptionally thankful to the Cardano Foundation, not only because they have named their coin after one of the most famous uh, lady mathematicians, but they also understand the importance of women's inclusion in the development and in the advancement of the technology. They create significant education uh, programs which will be game changers in the industry and they make sure that there is a proportion of uh, ladies which is represented in the industry. They are outstandingly open in their communication and they understand that they are here to help the mature industries to uh, go through the digital transformation as smoothly as possible and they always, uh, they are ready to offer their helping hand. So, thanks. First of all, it's my pleasure being panelist here on Cardano Summit, Phyllis, Georgia. I think that this is extraordinary event where you can meet 
very interesting people. We shared ideas and it was kind of very interesting for me representing Internet Society and talking about the challenges of Georgian innovation ecosystem. I'm in Georgia for uh, five years already. I came here as a country manager of MasterCard and now I'm continuing my job here as a um, leader of FinTech project. We building Neobank, not only Georgian but also global one. Today I will be attending the panel regarding Neobanks and the importance of this uh, segment. We see the progress of digital banks in the world and I think it is a good time to have something interesting in Georgia as well. I think that uh, crypto is the one of the important parts for the neobanking and overall banking system. Uh, classical banks uh, still doubt regarding the technology but uh, I strongly believe, strongly believe that uh, crypto is the one of the main players inside the new banks. Uh, with this people can do can have more flexible services, can get more flexible services, transfers, investment, and uh, we definitely see big potential in crypto uh, together with the banking services. Today I'm here to talk regarding new banking. This is very interesting area and uh, this is interesting that uh, conventional bankers like I am and blockchain specialists are brought together by this uh, event sponsored by Cardano to talk about future of banking, financial services, how to educate people regarding this, what impact it will have on the economy and global development. So working in Web3, tying it into real estate is what I do with my days. So right now we are working on finding a way to have a fractionalized NFT own property to turn something that's illiquid, which is real estate investments, into something liquid, NFTs. So Georgia has all sorts of opportunities for that for a variety of reasons. The regulation is very lax, the tax situation is good, uh, the legislators are coming along, so that is really our biggest delay at this point. Because Georgia is so friendly to businesses for so many good reasons, um, we're in the process of putting together a fund. So we have international investors coming to us and we're not burdened by some of the regulations that you find in other places. So we're able to open this up to people from all over the world, even small denominations like can contribute to this fund, which of course will help the Georgian ecosystem in general uh, and will certainly help the crypto ecosystem because we're tying all of this into Web3. Happy to be here today. Uh, this summit brings a lot of people together, a lot of bright minds in the same industry who are involved in the industry and helping to aid to develop throughout the everyday life. Comparing this year's event to the last summit, I see the improvement, I see the amount of attendees uh, growing and companies involved in the industry growing as well. Because uh, what Cardano Foundation is doing, it helps uh, basically Georgian winery uh, extraditionally, it helps it to put their names on, on the ground and to not only to uh, put the details on blockchain but to also spread out the name of Georgian winery throughout the world, which is amazing. As MyCoins, uh, we are involved in this as well. We are helping Cardano Foundation to have its ground on Georgian market, which is going to help not only the foundation to grow but the industry and Georgian crypto world to improve and to kind of implement the, everything into our daily life which is basically is going to help us to have a lot, lot better adoption. I'm happy to attend today's event organized by Cardano Foundation. It's a wonderful uh, event here and also the uh, topic that I have uh, touched, uh, the transition from Web 2 to Web 3, is, the, is attracting the spirit of this meeting and meetup. Uh, we talked about the main uh, instruments, about the importance of the Web3 uh, uh, adoption in, the, in Georgia and in the world. So especially the instruments like the DAO, the NFTs and other type of uh, decentralized governance are the, uh, are the uh, topics that we have discussed today. And uh, the, uh, mostly we talked about the gamify field. I'm coming from the 
Web3 Gamify platform called Arena. We are looking forward to cooperate with Cardano and currently we are all, uh, let's say, discussing and uh, networking here, finding the synergies with different projects. So I think that it, this event will be beneficial for all the participants. I was here today as a panelist to speak about uh, the transition between Web 2 and Web 3. Um, I think it's a really exciting topic because uh, we're here to really introduce the next wave of users to Web 3 and uh, show the innovative business models that are presented um, using Web 3 technologies. Um, my perspective is we have to make it as simple as possible and educate the new users. Cardano has done a wonderful job in creating an ecosystem that is reliable for its users and uh, it's really exciting to be a part of this uh, industry that is uh, really at an early stage. My project is uh, P360. We're introducing uh, a platform where players and fans of major league sports can interact with each other on a deeper level. Um, when it comes to Web3 technologies, we're always thinking about focusing on the major stakeholders. In the case of major league sports, uh, the interaction between fans and the athletes are, is the most valuable. We want to create an immersive experience for those fans. Of course, there's a lot of other blockchain protocols out there. Um, Cardano has done a very good job in um, placing itself as one of the top uh, ecosystems uh, to build on top of. And uh, the uh, economic rewards model is very interesting for users um, because they can um, really fractionalize um, their uh, stake inside of the Cardano ecosystem and still get rewards back. So today I will be speaking about laws and regulations surrounding the crypto and blockchain in our region and also globally and how different players should adhere to the current economic and uh, regulated landscape. It's also important to understand how different countries have implemented new regulations within this space and where Georgia stands in, in there. And also how Georgia could copy and paste some of the regulations here uh, regionally and how some regulations should probably be adjusted and modified and adjusted to the uh, Georgian uh, reality and regional reality as a whole. Georgia wants to become a regional hub for crypto and blockchain and good governance and regulation around crypto and blockchain is one of the major pillars underpinning this potential success. Hello, uh, my name is Alexander Vastrichin. I'm CEO of interoperable blockchain platform uh, called Relictum. Uh, the main concept uh, of Relictum is to create uh, the big decentralized network like uh, Cordana. And today I will talk about uh, blockchain governance and DAOs because uh, DAO and uh, blockchain governance is the main concept of truly decentralization and uh, we all together try to create a profitable uh, decentralized uh, ecosystem in the all over the world. My name is Nicholas Kobachidze, I'm the founder of the Crossroads. Uh, Crossroads is the platform for startups and investors. We involve governments, education institutions and accelerators and different other stakeholders to join uh, the, the stage and uh, help each other for the development of the startup community in Georgia and regionally in Caucasus and Central Asia, Middle East, different other countries. Uh, it's a great pleasure to participate in the Cardano Summit that's happening in Georgia now, already for the second year. Uh, we'll, I will be moderating the panel for uh, challenges of the ecosystem uh, in Georgia. and discussing it with our uh, other panelists about opportunities, what, what should be improved and how we can attract more investments and more international corporations towards uh, our country from global community. Hi, my name is Sebastian. I'm a tech entrepreneur in the Netherlands, in Amsterdam. I build a platform for uh, gig work and hospitality. This is already a couple, several years ago. Since 2017, I've been living the digital nomad life and I've been eyeballing um, Georgia and his residency uh, program. Finally, I made it here. 
came to this event because it seems like all the significant tech people are here today. Uh, so it was a good moment to meet and also a good moment to learn more about uh, Web3, crypto. Because as a tech entrepreneur, I consciously made the decision to focus not on the crypto uh, stuff. But I guess it's here to stay and it's, uh, at some point I need to learn. So truly, Tbilisi and Georgia is a dear center of the global Cardano ecosystem. Yeah. <laughs> so today I'm here in Tbilisi in Georgia for the Cardano Summit uh, event here. Can I start again? <laughs> okay. Yeah. We were here at Cardano Summit. What's it? Sadi. Metsinedo. Oh, <laughs> yeah.